something that started as a pastime activity gradually spiraled out of control and turned a young man's life upside down. Kaili Shegumbi couldn't control his addiction to alcohol. We traveled to KwaZulu Natal to bring you the story of how Kaili Shle succeeded in turning his life around. They came here desperately seeking help. They had nowhere else to go. Kaili Shegumbi is trying his best to assist. He runs a rehabilitation program in KwaZulu Natal. Abantu baya figa la pagma support groups, gulwe sibili, gulwe sine, umkebelo, kala nga fast nine, pelo nga fast eleven. Uma se, sengili welile, itonita. Having dealt with drug and alcohol addicts for more than a decade, he understands what works. Asesi aitintifai ili tini mites bona yaguti leo nalo, ifu mutege wa usebe nzis, ama kremsa aisla ngokshesh. So, we meet here and I think we are talking about For Kaili, helping people lead a clean lifestyle is something personal. His young life was nearly destroyed by alcohol abuse. Growing up in Mpange, KwaZulu Natal, Kaili Hle was introduced to alcohol at an early age. E kaya ge, ba abantu abawa landela ya masik. So obegwe nzuku tike, mtambu tolu kutuchuala, in 1995, even when Kaili Hle was on the road to self-destruction, he was still lucky enough to receive good opportunities. When he dropped out of university, he found a well-paying job in the local municipality. But most addictions usually triumph over their victim. Kaili Hle found out the hard way when he drank for two weeks straight. Kwa 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 From a high-flying municipal official to a hobo who drowned his sorrows in cheap alcohol. Twelve years on the streets, spending most days and nights at this spot in Durban, Kailiche, had enough. In 2007, he went back home. His relatives took one look at him and sent him straight to rehab. For the next year, a determined Kailiche managed to find strength to stay away from his old nemesis. He wanted to share his victory against addiction with his community. In 2008, he launched a one-man campaign against substance abuse. Basically, 
Nemsaka Azo, Ika Kulgazi Beng Seven Saka Kulama Community Radio Station. He then gathered a group of volunteers to start Ukukanya Rehabilitation Program. Kailile later found a job and managed to fund his campaign, which was growing by the day. Targeting both urban and rural areas across KwaZulu Natal, Kaili Ishe now runs a program that helps hundreds of people. Schoolboy Strelo Kumalo started smoking Dacha in 2008 and became a notorious criminal. When his family heard about Kaili Ishe's rehab on the radio, they begged him to go. Strelo reluctantly put his life in Kaili Ishe's hands a move that would transform his life. There you have it. If you are inspired by Kailisha's initiative and would like to contribute in any way, you can call the number on your screen and speak to Kailisha directly. Coming up, turning a family recipe into a hot business venture. News that moves. ENCA.com.